there are many people who are really interested in this Nyx thing, uh, especially who seem to be absolutely interested in Rust. And I wanted to give people a bit of a head start. And uh, or at least show where the show people where the head start is, and the first thing will be this zero to nix guide by a wonderful company called Determinate Systems, and if you click quick start, you get a link to how to use the Nix installer, and that is how I recommend you install Nix because it provides uh, support for a thing called a flake and a flake is a particular type of file that sort of uh, is a bit of an it just a sort of a, simplifies the whole uh, next landscape the other thing if you are a rust programmer is this cargo to nix project which essentially teaches nix about cargo and makes it a whole bunch easier for you to get started let me show you what I mean. Okay, so cargo new. Let's create a new a. Uh, let's create a new package, and we can just build it, and uh, we get hello world. Uh, so that's not super interesting, but uh, now I want to have a Nix shell. Uh, the first time you run this, it will be slower than that, but Nix is really good. And the after the first time you've run it, uh, it will be much faster. Then we now have a, a command available in our shell called cargo to nix, which is actually just added uh, this cargo dot nix file, which for uh, relatively technical reasons we're going to need to put into version control, which is okay because cargo has also created version uh, has created a git repository for us um, we will and there is one other file that I require and this is a flake.nix file I mentioned how we mentioned um, nix before uh, sorry how I mentioned a uh, I mentioned flakes sorry not nix I wonder if this will work. It's always hard when you're recording things live. Something is almost certainly likely to break. Uh, now, if I run git uh, add, I can probably do cargo run again, and it does the same thing. What about nix build? Okay, so nix is happy-ish. Uh, but it's actually working. So now I have a completely reproducible file. And, oh, sorry, a reproducible build. And if I run uh, nix build, again, I get this interesting warning about uh, the git tree being dirty, but let's ignore that for now. Um, I'm now up and running with nix. And so that is how to get going uh, with the zero to nix installer, or let's go and, uh, sorry, the, the zero to nix guide, which provides a link to the nix installer. The nix installer is useful because it provides support for this thing called a flake, which happens to work nicely to this little utility called cargo to nix that works with cargo and teaches it about nix. So <laughs> Hopefully that hasn't been too confusing. Uh, enjoy playing around. I think that you're going to have lots of fun. See you later.